What's going on YouTube? Jimmy here from Wolfpack Reacts to back again with another reaction video for you guys. This one we're getting it just shortly after it dropped. It dropped just a couple hours ago. This is Fire from the Gods right now. Their latest song, their latest video, they just put it out there. Uh, last reaction we did to Fire from the Gods was their song, Excuse Me. That was a straight up banger. If you guys haven't seen that reaction yet, it'll be the link to it will be down in the description below. As well as the link to this video right here. The link to the original will be down in the description as well. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Become part of the Wolf Pack. Get notified every single time. Bring a badass reaction to you. Just like this one right here that we're about to check out. Man, I'm super excited. If you guys couldn't tell. So yeah, man. Without further ado, we're going to jump right up in this damn thing. And uh, yeah, let's get it. Already coming out with the coming out with the lyrics on there. I like that little like matrix feel in the very beginning, though. It's like you got kind of like traveling through the matrix right here is where we are. You know? I like that. Um, the lyrics are tear down these walls. This can't go on forever. Something's got to give. You know, like everything that's been going on, all the negativity. All the, the barriers people are putting up between each other, within themselves, you know, not really being who they truly are. Eventually, something's going to give, man. Whether it be good or bad, something's going to break down, something's going to give, and things are going to really, really happen. So let's hear this again. Also, real quick, I know I keep pausing it already. We're only barely into this thing. 24 seconds is where I stopped it at a minute ago. In the Excuse Me video, you didn't really hear him singing much. You heard more of his, his rapping and some of that, and then he had a couple screams thrown in there. It sounded really great. Don't get me wrong. His singing voice right now, that actually blew me away the second it started. I was like, whoa. This dude got some pipes, man. So, he's bringing everything. Well, Are you guys listening? Are you listening to this man? He's got some pain coming in his voice right there, dude. Like, we're going to bring it back a little bit here. Listen, you can hear the pain in his voice, the emotion in these lyrics. They put some heart into this. And I, I really love that, what he said. How can I relate to a world I feel is broken to the minds I feel won't open? How do you relate to people these days? How? Everybody thinks they're right on every single subject. Nobody wants to be wrong on anything. Nobody wants to have a, a proper discussion on nothing. You know, nobody wants to have a civil discussion. It turns into an argument and a fight and just get away from me because you don't agree with me. No. You've got to stop being so closed-minded, man. Learn how to take constructive criticism. Learn how to disagree with someone. There's a right way to disagree with someone. You know, and like, how can I speak life when all I see is death and all I see is strife? Dude, like, those lyrics speak for themselves, dude. Like, damn! I want one of 
Let those words marinate for a second. <clears throat> How can we exist in a constant state of crisis? Every five minutes you turn around, this, this crisis is happening. This devastation is happening over here. This horrific, horrendous act is happening over here. How the hell are we going to exist in all that? How are we going to actually live? Waking up and breathing every day isn't living. There's a big difference. How can we exist in a conscious state of crisis, society, and conflict? Let those words sit for a second. Fire from the gods, man. Society in conflict. All the ignorance betrays a weakness. Too much pride to admit there's a sickness. Vacant emotions. Like walking corpses. Go bring it back a little bit. I wanted to let that play out through the chorus and everything there, just because it's such amazing, an amazing chorus to listen to. I'm actually gonna go back to that that last verse for just a quick second. One line right there, really, 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 I feel needs to be brought up. Too much pride to admit there's a sickness. That one line right there is everybody, just about every, just about everybody these days. You know, myself included. You know, if you're hurting or something's wrong, <clears throat> or especially if you have any kind of mental health issues or anything like that that you're fighting with, your own demons and shit, if somebody asks you if you're all right, if you need help or something, what do you say? You tell them, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm good. Don't worry about it. That's your pride talking, and we all... It Myself included. I'm not just talking to you guys. I'm talking about myself too. We all need to just quit that shit. It's one of the hardest things in life to do, but we got to quit it. Got to quit it. Admit when you need help. Reach out for the help. As if we don't start helping ourselves, then we can't start helping each other the way it needs to be done. Like, Say I'm preaching. I don't care. Like this song right here is just all kinds of like stuff that I really passionate about. You know, and when I get to ask anybody that knows me, you get me talking about something I'm really passionate about, man. It it shows. It comes out. I just start going on about it. And right now, this song is telling everything. I'm about to share this on every one of my social medias, on my personal pages, my reaction channel pages, everything. Because this is amazing. I got to see these guys live if they ever come to Texas. Damn. I 
don't know of anybody that could have said it any better in that verse. I know I've paused it a lot during this song, but man, th this song just has so much in it. There's so much there that I feel needs to be deconstructed a little bit, at least unpacked just a little bit, brought to more layman's terms so it's easier for everybody who sees this to get the message. And I really hope, Fire From The Gods, I really hope I'm portraying your message correctly in this song. This is how I'm taking the message um, this is what it's sounding like to me. So don't take this as like an official transcription of what they are saying. This is what they are saying, in my opinion. Just throwing that out there real quick. But that whole verse, if we all take a second and listen, voice of reason is how we can end this. Exactly. We need to just listen to one another and find some kind of middle common ground there. You know, nobody's willing to do that. We can't waste a minute. It needs to happen now. Like, there is no more time. You got government agencies plus climate change and all that kind of stuff burning up air. Like, the Amazon rainforest is on fire right now. That's 20% of the entire planet's oxygen. Think about that for a second. The wettest place on Earth is on fire. And I think it's, I think it's somewhere in Siberia, this one. I'm not entirely too... Sure, I think it was somewhere in Siberia. One of the coldest places on Earth is on fire also. Like, we are destroying our own place that we live in. And we're destroying ourselves with the petty differences and the petty conflicts and stuff like that. We need to start coming together more as a human being. Forget color, forget race, forget all that shit. Just coming together as a human being. That is, it needs to happen. Now, drop your pride and get to the point that we're missing. Like I said a minute ago, we need to get rid of that pride talking and learn to admit our faults and admit our mistakes and just find a way to fix it. We're going to finish up this song now. I apologize. <laughs> Man, this song just got me. How did I not know about this band sooner? You know, hey, like they say, better late than never, man. I Both songs that I've heard from you guys, man, excuse me. And this latest thing here right now, man, like, dude, you can sing. You got the bars. You got the metal vocals. Like, the band itself, the music complements it so well. It tells the story. You know, and one is not, in my opinion, one's not conflicting with the other. They all just meld together perfectly to produce this. That's amazing, man. Like, great, great freaking job, man. I know this, uh, this reaction has gone on long enough, man. I said uh, quite a bit during the song there. I know, like I said, this is just, a lot of these topics it talks about in here, I'm very passionate about myself, and that gets me talking. So, with all that being said, I'm going to leave it up to you guys now. Let me know what you guys thought about this reaction and this song down in the comment section below. Drop any suggestions you would like to see for any future videos, as well as definitely hit that subscribe button. Click that little notification bell right next to it. Become part of the Wolf Pack. Get notified every single time bring another badass banger like this one here from fire from the gods man like i just i'm still just kind of dumbfounded i'm still taking this whole song in right here man and uh till next time guys i'll catch you later peace make sure it's in the frame i gotta work on that <laughs> later guys